But yeah, honestly, the big issue is that this boss, like, it's badly explained, that's one problem. It's badly explained. The other thing is that, um, that it's too hard. Like, I had to use, actually, I can show it, since I want to open up the YouTube anyways. Uh, I can show it, actually, how I did it. Where is my clear picture? Yeah, there we go. Like, look at this thing. I use Surtur, Edge of Hell, Ifrit, uh, Suzuran, Yotu Alter, Skeobe, Neural Alter, Inez, Saria, Freaking Edge of Hell Alter, Reed Alter, Shining, uh, no, that's Nightingale, and Mjolnir. It's like. I used the meta units and I barely did it, right? Like, I didn't use Surter, but I did use it in the end to accelerate it. I didn't use Edge of Hell. What I needed is Ifrit for the Shred. I needed Suzuran for the Fragility. I needed Kyobe because she just shreds with her skill to enter module level 3, right? I needed Mjolnir. I needed Edge of Hell for the healing. I needed Soria for the Elementor res, right? It's just like... And I had to use Nightingale, which luckily I recently got, to survive the last mobs. It's like, what the fuck is this? Right? It kind of reminds me of Stationary Security Service when it first introduced. It was way too hard, way too RNG, and even people with meta units was like, what the fuck is this, right? Like, I honorably used Mjolnir to... Was it Mjolnir that has like a taunt? I think Mjolnir has a taunt and I used it for that. But yeah, it, it wasn't pretty. Right? Okay, let, let me let me mute the game in the background. Like like honestly I am lucky to have these units, right? I am lucky that I got Inus. I am lucky that I got Reed Alter. I'm lucky that I got Edge of Fail Alter because I didn't plan on getting Edge of Fail Alter, I just got her randomly from a free, right? Like, and this is my biggest problem with Ark Knights lately. Like, they, I feel like they do not know what they are doing, right? And I, this sounds harsh as hell, but Contagiously Contract 12 was really good. I think that's like the best content they have done in a long, long while. IS3 is really good as well, I, but it's not that good. IS4, I do not know how to play IS4, but that's my fault. I don't fully understand how that game mode works. Um, but... They introduced Pinch Out. Did anyone ever do mass difficulty in Pinch Out? Genuinely, did anyone ever clear it on the highest difficulty possible? I highly doubt it. I think people just got close to it. It was like 830 or something like that was the highest one. Which is like... Just to show, like, what was it? The, the freaking robot guys had like 7 billion HP with like... 8,000 defense or something like that. Do they really expect you to kill that? Like, do they really expect you to kill that? Actually, I know for a fact that people didn't do it max difficulty because everyone let Dorothy leak. If you let Dorothy leak, that's not max difficulty. And, and I understand that we there is like a massive power creep, like, look at Mjolnir and Silver Ash, right? Like, yes, niches exist, like, Silver Ash can, like, make invisible units be visible, right, blah, 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 but everyone uses them for the big damage, right? Like, the like the big shrink, shrink, shrink damage. Like, Mjolnir, power crept, Silver Ash. Like, not in every way, but it did, right? Shoe, power crept, sorry, a borderline. And that's the big issue, just use metal. Well, I don't have text assaulter. What the fuck am I gonna do? I don't have... Uh, I don't have channel alter because I didn't play when channel alter was out. Imagine that. Right? And I am lucky I got uh, Edge of Air alter because I was low on resources and I didn't get her. Almost. So I had to skip her, but I got her nevertheless from daily pools. I accidentally misclicked on Ines's banner and I got Ines. That's the funny part of that, right? I actually put for Yatuat. But like think about it. Think of like people who don't have these units. I saw a guy 
who did a four star only clear on A3. And that was pain. Like there is a reason why why people say like this game was a shit. But I don't think it's shit. It's a good foundation if they just work on it. Like how would I fix it? Kinda make it like CC that like if you do like half difficulty you get all the rewards and the rest of it is like just challenge mode. So like I don't know, like if you put like five, six buffs, you still can clear it and you get all the rewards. But if you want to do it harder, you, you get like extra like credits. I don't know. Like just like how in the end you only get the credits in the battle pass, but I don't know. Anyways, let's see what the most hated Dark Knights YouTuber has to say about this. This video is sponsored by you. Links to support the channel but in are in the general people don't like this Hello game mode. There. Ark Knight's most hated YouTuber. Also, can I just say he's not the most hated Ark Knight's YouTuber because, um, because uh, Tectone exists. You turn it to super. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I like that. beefing with this a bunch of pixels that are beating the shit out of my pixels. Like, look at this. This is roughly the team I was using. I didn't choose Night uh, or Shining, right? But everyone did the same shit. I think that just shows that something is horribly wrong with this game mode. Also, that I developed an unhealthy attachment to. So uh, DOS came out, uh, and I took my time to play it a good bit, uh, so I could form a proper opinion before just making a slop video. That's a really cute ha haze, by the way. It. And I need to say, it's definitely decent, yeah. but I feel the shift from a tower defense mobile game to physical card game extremely reminiscent of Uno was a terribly confusing direction for the Ark Knights brand to take. What do you mean, Ark? Hmm. Let, 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 let him cook, I don't really I don't really understand his point, but let him cook. There doesn't even seem to be any Ark Knights branding on the box or card. I really don't know what Hypergrave was thinking with this one. Oh, and uh, the Sign of Strife also came out, and it's kind of ass. Wait, My card game. Wait, are you talking card. about stationary security service here? I really here? don't know what Hypergrave was thinking with this one. Oh, and uh, the Sign of Strife also. Wait. Okay, that might, I, I might be just too dumb for the so joke. came out, and it's kind of ass. <laughs> My opinion on it is about as mild and lukewarm as the average Minecraft update nowadays. Minecraft, Minecraft doesn't have updates. My, Minecraft is like a shell. The Sign of Strife is yet another attempt to replicate the success of CC after Hyperbrief decided yeah. to retire it for literally absolutely no reason. Thank you! Someone finally said it! Why did we retire Contingency Contract? It's like literally the best content in the game. This is like the only reason I started playing Ork Knights. To do Contingency Contract high risk difficulty. Because it's fun! Why did we get rid of it? And why did we replace it in the dog shit that's called fucking... Ugh, pinch Out, that's the name of it. Like, holy shit, it's not even comparable. Anyways. Yet it lacks all the edge that the CC <laughs> had. Up. Design of Strife ends up being just a mediocre mode that simply exists in the game. I would even go further and say it doesn't even exist, really. It's just a game mode for the sake of game mode. Not offensively bad like Pinch Out, yeah, exactly. but still fundamentally non-functional. Before we get into the main stages, let's briefly talk about Trauma Intervention. That's it's cool. honestly pretty good. The timer gimmick is actually very enjoyable. It introduces yeah. a whole new dimension to the gameplay <laughs> because now stalling out the timer like a Smash Bros. Sonic player <laughs> is a viable strategy. It makes some previously kinda ass opera also quite great. I should have used her. <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's kind of cool that, like, 
back in the early days of Ark Knight, stalling was quite a big thing, right? And it like kind of disappeared in the recent days, and now we are way more offensive, like using Texas and Yacht Walter, like just like kills everything, right? And then you can use like more like Mule or everything. Like we are more went on the offensive side, but back in the day, maybe we were dumb back in the day, but like stalling was way more important. It kind of brings that back, right? Like how you saw you guys when I was doing it earlier today. You try most of T1 and fail miserably. I don't even remember what I did on T1. I did read. I remember I used read and tried to explode everything before it spiraled out. But yeah, like you can see, even read alter is really good here, right? If you see my mouse, and it, it, I like it because, like, yeah, if you can't, like, if can, you can't kill them, just survive long enough. Somehow survive long enough, and it will kill them. And and I like it that it's like bringing back like an old thing from the past, so to speak. It's a good gimmick that introduces a great bit of variety. Like here, he is not defending this, but he is surviving for two more seconds. Yet it feels undercooked, being relegated to just the side stages. Anyway, about the stages... This is borderline what I did. Like, can we make this point as clear as it is in the day? Like, everyone did the same shit because that's the only way you can do it on max difficulty. It's so bad. It's similar to my setup I did. I didn't use Mostima. You actually care about uh, some people call them reverse CC. Reverse CC. This is because you have buffs you can apply to the stage to make it easier. Contrary to the debuffs you can apply to make it as hard as me looking at Gummy <laughs> in CC. However, this is not exactly correct. I find the buff mechanic in the sign of strife to be a uh, Confusing. Mm. Not in the sense that it is hard to grasp, like a calcit word diarrhea <laughs> monologue, but in the sense that you can remove it entirely and the mode barely changes. It's gonna be painfully hard, that's what it changes for. Like, it's. Stalling is still the main thing for high risk uh, things. Yeah, it's still also Hello Panda. I never really used slowing us that often, so I had like none. Yeah, like, I remember I leveled. Um, uh, what was it? Oh, the Kung Fu Panda girl, I forgot her name. Feeter, right? Just for the push she does, right? And the slow she does. For CC12. And there was like another unit that I... I actually had to use Module 2 for Spectre Alter. Just for the slow, right? And I had to level Mostima to 90 with the Module 3. And Mostima is really good. But yeah, like... The buffs are like just like st static buffs. Like... It doesn't, like... Hmm. How should I put it into words what it feels like with the boss, right? Like, with CC, I kind of feel like the boss on the enemies is, like, part of CC, if that makes sense, right? Why here, like, oh, you deal... Or you have 20% more attack. Like, the st that, yes, it gets easier, air quotes, but it's, like, still... Like, it has the pinch-out issue of, like, you are asking us way too much of us to do, and then you are selling the solution, right? Hey, how are you, Tenshi? It's supposedly the main gimmick, but contributes about as much as traffic lights in GTA. <laughs> it's a completely external system glued onto the stage. Correct. He put it way better than I did, but roughly the same conclusion. Rather than being intrinsic to the mode. Intrinsic? Is it intrinsic for CC for the boss? Yeah, yeah I would say Also, so. you get less rewards for using them, even for using just one. And this is the dumbest thing, in my opinion. Like, even just one and you get like, well, okay, you don't get half the rewards, you get like 50 to 55, but it's like, you, you put us a boss that's like, even with meta is hard to do, right? Like, you have to exploit the gimmick of getting chained up, and then redeploying the units instantly, right? Like, I willingly chain my units up, so I can instantly redeploy them and their skills are ready, instead of waiting the timer, right? Like, if you have to do that even with the meta team, like, how are you expecting us that not use buffs for the normal human being?
So in essence, you gave me a bunch of buffs that I'm not allowed to exactly, use. Exactly, you get punished for it. Defeating the entire purpose of having them in the first place. So dumb. You have absolutely no incentive to ever use these buffs. You are only punished for engaging with the main yep. gimmick of the mode. This is because if you use even just one, you get less rewards. Now, to be fair, if you still manage to clear it, uh, that less rewards is less credits in the battle pass but it still feels shit though part clear this shit with q by with q by i haven't seen that name in since forever my brain that is getting ptsd just looking at them which buff if at all should pick yeah and that's the thing right and you are the average player <laughs> how did he expect the average player to clear this on s3 it doesn't work psychologically either. In CC, it feels like a climb. It fills you with a sense of pride and accomplishment, accomplishment to add more risks because you're yeah. making a baseline easy thing harder for yourself. Like, this was a joke, but yeah, like, when I did CC12 and I got risk 28, I think was the highest I could get, I did it because I wanted to, I wasn't forced to, and that's way better. While here you are forced to do the highest one because you lose the rewards. Which is like, and then you make the highest one like borderline impossible to do. You also get to unlock the next stage if you use buffs. That's the other thing, I totally forgot that because I never use buff. But you are 100% correct, Tenshin. You can't even unlock the next stage if you use buffs. So you even get more and more punished for actually trying to make it bearable. Like, eh. ...and getting rewarded for it. In the design of Strife, it feels like you're lowering the difficulty like a little bitch. It feels like in Devil May Cry 3 when you die and the game mocks you by telling you easy mode is now selectable. I need to finish the Devil May Cry 5. Especially when you unlock the option to apply buffs by losing the stage for the first time. Yep. This doesn't feel good at all. Yep. It's like, oh, that sucks to suck here. I let you give you like a little, like hand. It's like, man. You're shaming me for using the f***ing main gimmick of the game <laughs> yeah. mode. But at the same time, the stages are built around the buffs. And it's painfully obvious as well, like, how tanky this shit is. That you have to use, you have to use fragility with Suzura, you have to use like shred with KOB, Reed, freaking uh, Saria, right? You had to use all of this just to be able to kill it. Literally all the shred in the universe. So now you have outrageously difficult stages meant to have those buffs active in a mode that discourages you and punishes you when yeah. you activate those buffs. It's like if IS-4 punished you for using full Dartals. I think this could... I mean, it does because I don't fucking know how it works. ...be easily fixed in the design of Strife 2 if you... Uh, Rework it entirely from the ground up and essentially make it something else while only retaining the base concept. Yeah, so basically you make something completely new. <laughs> let's say there is a stage, let's call it J3. This stage YJ. baseline is impossible, just straight up impossible, okay. designed on purpose to be unclearable. Now, before the stage, you are shown a CC-like screen with a bunch of buffs. Mm. You have a currency to spend to get those buffs, <laughs> much like points. we have currently. But this time, you have a gradual <laughs> system shown in tears. So, so yeah, so it's like, like, it's roughly what I said, so it's like CC, okay. So yeah, it's like you don't get completely punished for using the buffs. You can still get all the rewards, but then you can go further if you want to. Let's call them tier 5 to 0. You start at tier 0 with no buffs, and the more you spend of that currency, the more you go up in tier, to tier 1, then 2, and so on. 
to get the full rewards, you must be uh, at yeah. least uh, tier it's 3. Like, like this tier. rework achieves five things. One, the player is no longer punished for engaging <laughs> with the gimmick of the f***ing mode. Yep. Two, the buffs are now integral to the game mode, as the baseline stage is designed to be impossible, or at least near impossible, without them. Yeah, like for example, in CC... Oh, that, which one was the fish one? I think the fish one was CC10. Like, my strategy was revolved around arts. So I was like, why I should I increase the HP of the enemies when I can increase their defense? I don't care about defense, I'm using arts, right? I should have that choice. Free, the player is punished for using too many yeah. buffs. Tier 4 and 5 would give out less rewards compared to Tier 3. Think of this as Risk 18 in reverse, in reverse. where Risk 17 and below give out less rewards. I mean, and still, right, it's, it, this one would be cool because if you are a beginner, right, let's say you're a beginner, or you don't have the meta unit, so you don't have boros for meta units or whatever, right, you still can engage with the content. Like, I have a friend who started this, who started Arc Knights a month ago. I think it's two months ago by now. And uh, he could only do B2 with buffs. He couldn't engage with this content at all, and I think he managed to do T3? I think he did T3 because he borrowed my uh, Typhoon. And he pulled for Fiametta now. So he basically used the same strategy as me of using Scuddy. Scuddy, Fiametta, and Torns to the right side, and then just like someone to unstealth the enemy, and like someone to bury. But yeah, anyways, right? Like, think of this, right? Your new player base, and to be fair, Arc Knights, I do not know for sure. I mean, I helped him a lot as well in, in Discord, but like, Arc Knights, in my opinion, I have no proof of this, but this is my opinion, Arc Knights is not getting a lot of new players, in my opinion. I do not know if this is true, but I feel like we have like a steady player base, and which is not really growing, but it's also not really losing players, right? But for the few old folks there, right, like that's like trying to get into the game, right? It's so hard and so punishing. Because the game expects you to have all the meta units, but how do you expect the new players to get into this game, right? It's like the age-old issue. Or the player can still choose to challenge themselves for their own pleasure if they choose so. Yeah. Tier 2 and 1 give out no additional rewards compared to Tier 3. However, they are there for the player to attempt as an extra challenge. Yeah, just like Think CC. of this as, again, Risk 18. You get all rewards there, but you can go to Risk 19 and above if you are masochistic we love masochism and in this house. 5. You still retain the customizable difficulty aspect of CC, as you get to choose the buffs, yeah. and choose if you want less impactful advantages, but many of them, or more impactful, but fewer. Yeah, and it also, like, helps you, like, if you, again, if you don't have meta units, like, let's say, with this one, this guy was weak to arts, so you went with arts defense, but let's say you don't have... I don't know, you don't have watch in it for whatever reason. Like, you could then put other resistance up buffs for him, and then you can increase your your uh, defense shred or whatever, right? This would be, in essence, a Twitch viewer counts are great times above that of how many people are new. I mean, yeah, like, like Arknights has, like, what? Right now has, like, what, 300 people watching Arknights? That's not that a lot. To a reverse CC. Instead, over here in reality, uh, to be we fair, are left still better with than bullshit hard stages with no flavor. Yeah, it's just hard for the sake of hard. Like, the boss gimmicks are very cool, but it's honestly it's just hard for the sake of hard. Where the H stages have to at least get creative with the map layout and enemy combination. I am dreading this stage, whatever we'll this way. The sign of strife can simply jack up every single enemy. Like, what the fuck are these? Like, the boss was easier to kill than this until shit. Until they become indestructible hydrogen bombs against your <laughs> puffin babies. S3 was very obviously not meant to be played without buffs, and yet you are punished if you use any of them. Yep. It's way too geared toward veterans. Exactly. Yes, CC was also veteran-oriented, but it never came to the point where the only clears I see 
DLC uh, are either maxed out six stars or just full meta teams. Like, exactly the point that I was saying. Mjolnir, Soria, Edge of Your, Golden Glow, Edge of Your Alter, Suzuran. What's this? Soria, Mjolnir, Suzuran, freaking. Oh, I forgot your name. What's your name? Uh. The Slowing Girl, right? Reed Alter. And borrowing Kirby. Literally everyone did borderline the same thing. ...are either maxed out 6 stars or just full meta teams. Risk 18 was hard but accessible. Like, when I came to the game, it was CC... Uh, Wild Scales, Operation Wild... Is it Wild Scales? The one with the... with the sand map. With the... where the sand wind blows, right? And when I started the game, right? Risk 18 was hard, but I still could get, like, Risk 16 was the highest I could get with the units I had. And after that, Risk 18 was like a challenge for me, right? But it still was doable if I was actually good at the game back in the day. Now, I'm still bad at the game, right? But I had the units now. S3 feels like you need to be a sweat that hasn't yeah, touched not the much grass diversity since the, the game released like me. S3 and A3, to some extent, feel way too strict and way too demanding. <laughs> To be fair though, with A3 you can get away with a lot of bullshit, like the things I did in A3 is so dumb but I got away with it just because I have like strong units. Let's just say uh, there is a reason if all your favorite challenge and niche nights content creators are doing their stuff in A3 and not S3. <laughs> At least in A3, after you sit down and grind it, you can find some wiggle room to have cool cleanups. Maybe by abusing the chain mechanic from the boss. I figured that out by S. I figured that out by the S difficulty. I didn't have to figure out by A difficulty. But yeah, I did some really dumb bullshit here. Like, I actually used Lapland where Horn is, if you guys see where Horn is. I don't know if I'm covering it. Yes, you can. Like, I used Lapland where Horn is facing left just for to reduce the shield of the guy. <laughs> I was dead desperate, okay? ...has no such thing. You're either a veteran living in your mother's basement, or a whale, or you don't clear it. And don't yep. give me that boohoo skill issue bullshit. Because the fact it's really hard itself is not the issue. The issue is that these stages achieve their difficulty through extremely jacked enemies. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it has no nuance. It's just... Here's a fucking sponge. Deal with it or it will deal with you. Like Pinch Out, again, with the robot dudes. 7 million HP, 5,000 defense, or I think I'm even undercutting that defense number. And that's the thing, right? It has no gimmick. It has nothing. It's just really fucking strong for the sake of being really fucking strong. Like, like for example, Chapter 10 it was that has, like, the nuke mechanic where, like, you know, the, your highest blocked unit gets, like, nuked but you can also use it against the enemy and was cool was it cc 10 11 i can't remember which one it was where you had to use that against manfred it was cool right it has but it has no no trash mobs just pain and suffering exactly like even the trash mobs right the the sword masters right once they go into phase two in s3 they one shot most of the units it was 10 okay even if you sit down and try to learn the stage, it's an extremely tedious and frustrating process because the difficulty is purely artificial. You're not giving me a tough stage layout. You're not giving me interesting and challenging enemy yeah. combinations. You're giving me a god's strongest <laughs> exactly. soldier and then telling me to go f off. So, as a summary, the design of Strife doesn't work because it's found the additional gimmick of the buffs is implemented so poorly that you could remove it and nothing changes. And because of that, the stages are an extremely frustrating experience. Yeah, like, what was it? It was two hours for me to do A3 with the stupid comp I did. It's not a good comp, but it worked in the end. I used Typhoon. Still, the mode is not offensively bad. Uh, it's solvable, but they, as, as he said at the start, it's solvable, but by the time you solve it, this is not the same game mode. By the time you solve it, you made CC but reverse, as he says, right? 
Up to A2, the stages are fine, actually. Up to there, I think it's a pretty possible mode. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. A2 was like difficult, but not too difficult. But A3 where the bullshittery starts. Even if it really is just nine hard stages with no flavor at all. Uh, I would say the blow... Okay, if I say the boss has flavor, it, it, yeah, I agree. If, if the boss, if only the boss has flavor, then it, it's not the stage that has flavor, it's the boss that has flavor. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I changed my mind on this. So, like, most of it is decent, at least. That's why I think Design of Strife really is just a mod that exists. Yeah. It could have definitely been done better, and the gimmick doesn't work from the foundation of it. At least it's not re uh, Reclamation Algorithm. That's... that... I don't know what they're thinking with that. But it's not offensively bad, like Pinch Out yeah. or Reclamation Algorithm. Uh, there you go. Point and case. Algorithm. And the trauma intervention is very cool, if nothing else. Honestly, I wouldn't mind trauma intervention as like a weekly, uh, okay, not maybe a weekly, but like a two weekly thing, right? Like, like, um, sta uh, stationary security service. Like, I wouldn't mind it as like just a holdout mode. And yeah, gave your altar would get way more use and more people would borrow my gave your altar. I have a potential for gave your altar. Please borrow it. Soon. All in all, it feels like a hyper green. Oh, don't even remind me that there is gonna be a soon permanent per reclamation. Like, if it's permanent, I don't mind it. Like, if it's permanent and the rewards are not limited, fine. The game mode can exist. I'm never gonna touch it, right? If is trying to recapture the magic that CC had by doing everything except just bringing back CC. They shouldn't have got rid of it in the first freaking place. They decided to end CC for literally no goddamn reason, and now they are trying to desperately do that again without walking back on. I actually use Fartooth here. Their decision because Hypergriff has an ego problem. <laughs> and that's all. Max out your gummy. Bye. Don't. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We roughly I had the same idea. My life an eternal devotion, but in particular to the channel members shown here right now, and in particular, er, I, I mean, let him finish. Koyaki, I mean, Lord Takeo, come to he deserves Brazil, it. But yeah, like Leon, roughly, Maxi we had the same idea of the issues with the and how to fix it. That's it's not all. like the exact, now but I will yeah. Persona tree myself. Don't don't persona free yourself. Arknight's first game with the Fall of Station the second service. Oh, that would be an interesting video to watch. But yeah, I just wanted to watch this because it appeared on my feed. But yeah. Is there anything else? Okay, I guess not. But yeah. I mean, exactly. It's not a bad idea, this game mode. But yeah, it's just like... If you're gonna make it around the boss and like... And I feel like that was the issue with Pinch Out as well. Like, they wanted you to have this experience of like, oh, use this path and this path and that path and that path, right? And then you can customize it to your liking. But it was way too complicated for Pinch Out and it was way too overtuned. And I feel like ever since they stopped doing CC, I feel like they are lost on how to make the game hard. Okay, not hard. I would rather say challenging, if that makes sense. And it's really showing with all of the game modes they introduced, like Pinch Out, Reclamation Algorithm, like what the fuck is that, right? Um, stationary Security Service, like the first iteration of Stationary Security Service, I was happy I got to Wave 6, or not Wave 6, you know, the 6th stage out of 8, because back in the day it was 8 stages, by the way, guys. Um, and I feel like their solution to this is just, big number go big, uh. And we're gonna introduce more stronger units like Mjolnir and that deals with it. But like, that's not how you make a game hard. Like, you need to give nuances, you need to give like challenges, right? Or you need to give like interesting gimmicks, right? Rotalos was cool in my opinion when they made the, the Monster Hunter collab looking at Yato, right? Because it wasn't a hard boss, but it had a cool gimmick and that made it like difficult. Like, yes, you could just use Surtur with the box with it, right? And just spam Surtur like a freaking Texas Alter before it appeared, right? 
but yeah, like, I really hope that Hypergris figures this out, because from what I see from Pinch out, the, I refuse to call the new contingency contracts contingency contract, but like, the Pinch out contingency contracts was, <laughs> they are not that good. Like the, we are at CC2 now, or uh, Pinch out version 2, right? And now, now it's fine, but man, why did it take us three patches? And I feel like they are like uh, Hypergriff is struggling with all of this as well to like come up with like new interesting game modes because like the really good players are really good at this game and they can do a lot of stuff like freaking Link can solo like almost all of the main stages, right? Or like good people can like make a joke of IS4, right? But I feel like they really try to appease the high end crowd by forgetting about the casual person who even struggles with Link, right? Or with having Mjolnir or Texas Alter, right? So they really need to figure out and think of the small guys, the dump person like me or everyone here in chat. Like, that's what they need to realize. Like, you need to make stuff for the average show. And you can, like, make it for the average show and then and then scale it up for the hard guys, right? But it's an optional thing. It should be optional. Like CC, like, like he said. Risk 18. That's something that most people can achieve even with 4-star operators, right? Um, but if you want to go further, there you go. Have your e is bigger, right? If you need that. So I forgot to put it. But yeah, here you go, guys. Yeah, very good video. Subscribe to the Super like 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 the channel actually since he wants to be the most hated dark Knights youtuber don't like his video dislike the video it just does it does just as much for algorithm anyways no do like the video before he takes it seriously um but yeah but yeah if it was a good it was a good game mode but like horribly executed which is like 90 percent of the game modes ever since cc12 for arc knights i don't know is there a way out of this? Let's hope there is, there, there is. Like, let's hope they can figure out a game mode that's, like, worthy as much as, like, IS and uh, contingency contract. Like, stationary security service is disappearing very soon as well. I mean, it's just a shame because, like, towards the end it was fine, but... I feel like with station security service it's like not really fixable as well because like that whole rng gimmick like you get a medal for not doing it again like you do it without you get a medal for doing it without dying right and having to restart the stage right but like if you just get shit rng and you don't get your supporters to cycle again well you just get shit rng <laughs> maybe hypergriff will listen i mean <laughs> The thing with this, like, maybe hyper will listen, it's like... And this is a bit skeptimistic, or pessimistic from me, right? But obviously they are like a Chinese company, they will focus on the Chinese community. I think they are a Chinese company. But they will focus on the Chinese community more than us, right? Like, we can scream and shout all we want. And again, this is pessimistic, but unless it's really, really bad to the point that the Chinese community also says this is bad, I don't think that many things will happen. Is just like with like Genshin with Mihoyo, right? Like we can say all we want that this is bad. If the Chinese people won't scream also, it's not gonna happen, right? But this is like this is like not unique to Arknights before anyone misunderstands. This is not unique to Arknights. This is this is like just gotcha game issue, right? But I do think like <sighs> how should I say there's a steady getting better that I see with uh, Arc Knights, right? Like, ever since CC10, like, station security service was bad. Okay. Reclamation algorithm was bad, but slightly better. Okay, the CC bots were good, but it's still bad, right? Like, freaking, um, Pinch Out was, okay, Pinch Out is an exception. Pinch Out was horrible, okay? <laughs> Pinch Out as, like, a whole concept was horrible. Um, but this, like, uh, design of, Design of what? What is it again? Design of strife is is like good, but it's bad, right? But we can see like a, a slow and steady getting better at it. And let's hope by the end of this road we see the end of the light. Yeah, 
But yeah, that's all. Oh well. But I think I'm gonna also end the stream here, because I do need to eat. I haven't had breakfast yet, I was just talking for the whole time. But yeah, uh, well, thanks everyone for watching, thanks for the... Wait, wait, I really like the daily stage of DS. Yeah, the daily stage, and as I said before, <laughs> then I will continue this rant. But yeah, before we finish the thingy... Hi! Tenshi, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, the daily stages of, uh, well, daily with air quotes, right, of Design of Strife, I think that should be like the replacement of stationary security service. Genuinely, right? The game of just, just hold out. One way or another, do it, just hold out. And yes, most people will just use uh, the slow lady, I forgot her name. I'm checking now. I'm checking it. Mostima. 99% of the people will just use Mostima or Lin tanking everything, right? But still, I think it would be more enjoyable still. Yeah, most similar, yeah. And I think that's cool. That's a cool idea to just hold out one way or another. You can kill the enemies if you're good enough, but if you hold out, that also works. And most people will go for that, right? I think, though, that if you make it like... And that's why I say it should be like either a monthly thing or like a two-week thing, right? Or a bi-monthly, right? Because... I do think it can get like jarring doing that or like just holding out for like if you do have to do that daily or weekly right but if it's like every two weeks I think it's it, it, it suffices right okay anyways I really should go eat something now um, but yeah thanks for the follows guys thanks for the raid don't forget to like follow super and like the video because I don't like leeching of people but this was a very interesting video keep up the good work second most hated Dark Knights YouTuber I need to take over your throne and I need to make more hateful content about Dark Knights <laughs> but yeah um, but uh, yeah thanks for watching and I will see you all in like at the night we will continue our grind of coding chapter 12 we are nearing the end and uh, tomorrow we will be at chapter 13 by now take care have a good night everyone or not good night, but a good day, depending on where you are in the world. Bye-bye.